OK, let's create a sample application to deploy our converted documents. You'll see in our project folder here that I've put our converted documents in the Flash folder, and I've dragged and dropped our original documents into the Docs folder. OK? And we'll go ahead and create a few label objects to start off here. So I'm going to create the first one, and I'm going to name it PDF. Then I'm going to press Control D to create a couple copies. I'll just drag them out real quick. I'll call the second one Doc, and the third one PPT. I'm going to go ahead and select these all, and then I'm going to align them and distribute them. Oops. There we go. And then I'm going to center them onto the stage and just move them up, say, somewhere around here. So these are going to act as buttons to trigger the different documents. Now we need to add a flash object to the stage. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the flash object icon. By default, let's go ahead and point it at the PDF Swift in our project flash folder. Press OK. We have to choose one of those um, items by default, something to start it off with. And then we'll just size it up to something convenient for our project. In this particular case, I think this will work quite well. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I think I have to bring it down by one pixel here. There we go. OK, so that's, that's roughly good enough for the purposes of this demo. All right, now what we need to do is attach some actions to these buttons so that they can launch the appropriate document within this um, flash object. So I'm going to double click on the PDF label and in the actions area I'm going to use the action wizard to do this. I'll click on the add action button and from the flash family of actions we'll choose flash load. We'll double click on that and then we'll just point the file name at our PDF Swift by using this little ellipsis button at the end there and double clicking on the PDF file. We're going to also set the play automatic to true. Now this may, may or may not have an effect depending on what type of document you're serving. In this particular case, we'll just set it to true anyhow. I'm going to press finish, and now I'm going to select this code by clicking and dragging over it, and right click and choose copy. Now I can just paste this code onto my other labels. So I can double click my doc label, and in the on click area, press control V to paste the code, and simply change this PDF label to doc, and that'll, that'll serve the doc swift. And I'll repeat that process for our PPT label for a PowerPoint one. And I'm just going to paste the code in there and change that to PPT. OK, so our document is ready to go. Our application is finished. Let's go ahead and press F5 to preview it. And we'll see what we've got. I'm going to go ahead and minimize our main application so we can see this against the dark desktop. There we go. Now, as you can see, it served our original PDF file and its size to our window. In this particular case, it's uh, smaller than the page, but as you can see, it's easy enough to read, and it's, you know, it looks quite decent actually. It's it served quite well, considering the amount of time that we had to invest in embedding this in our project. It's it's superb. I mean, we we spent you know less than a minute converting this document. Okay, let's go ahead and test out our labels here. So I'm going to click on the doc label, and as you can see, it immediately serves up our Word document, which again, if you take a look at it, it looks quite good. It's nice and sharp. It allows the user to have control over the size of the document here. They can size it up to 100% if they like, and uh, even beyond, as a matter of fact. And they can fit it to the page and so forth using these icons or print it. Um, let's go ahead and click on our PowerPoint label now. Again, you can see our PowerPoint presentation uh, served quite quickly here. Fits roughly into our screen, and we can use these arrows to walk through it. So it's good. It gives the user control over the interface rather than giving them an arbitrary flow to how the content is di distributed to them. And it really increases your flexibility. I mean, you can see how fast these documents load when I click on these labels. It's just uh, super fast, much faster than a PDF document would load in the Acrobat Reader, for example. So this is a great method for deploy deploying multiple types of documents. And uh, for example, if your sales uh, material contains um, a wide variety of sources such as PowerPoint presentations, Word documents, PDF files, HTML files, and so forth. Um, it's really convenient to bring them all under one banner like that and be able to just deploy them via this simple one-page project. Otherwise, you might end up getting bogged down in multi-page projects that um, basically are repeating the same functionality for different objects and taking you a lot of time to set up when they could be you know, uh, as quick as what we've done here in this tutorial. Okay, so let's take a look at a couple other ways of deploying uh, different documents because actually there's uh, 
other ways such as the web object and uh, standalone viewers that we can do the same functionality as we've done here. So we'll go ahead and look at that in the next video too.